Olivia and today I'm going to, um, not to teach you, but to kind of share my way of doing an apple crumble. This is, a, this is actually a recipe inspired by sorted food um, by their peach and pistachio crumble. Um, and well, I do, not, I do not have peaches nor pistachios on hand right now, so I'm just gonna use apples and some peanuts. Um, so for the crumble topping, here are the ingredients you need. You'll need some shortbread biscuits, um, some peanuts, a bit of flour, butter, sugar, and a tiny bit of salt. So first preheat your oven to 180 degrees. For the apple part of your crumble, you need apples, obviously. Um, today I use golden apples, Granny Smith, and just a normal, I don't know what kind of it, apples. Um, and basically it's just a combination of different kinds of apples to create some depth into your apple crumble, you'll need some lemon juice and some lemon zest and around 20 grams of sugar and today I'm going to use brown sugar. You also need some water when you cook your apples so just um, cover your apples with, with the water just above um, the level, the level of the apples and you also need a baking dish. Whatever size, whatever shape will do. So obviously you have to chop your apples into bite-sized pieces, cool them, you don't have to peel them, um, yeah just roughly slice it out like this, I'll say, just good enough. Now it's time for you to cook your apples, just pour the water right above the apples and obviously I don't have enough water, so good job. That will do. Now you need some lemon zest to add some flavour. And my zest is pretty crappy, but that's okay. Juice of half of a lemon. And I nearly forgot the sugar. Low to medium heat. Cook your apples until they are softened and lovely and beautiful. Now we have to prepare our nuts. Just pop them into a Ziploc bag. Close the lid. The lid. The... Okay, whatever that's called. Just bash it up with something um, heavy duty like a glass. For the shortbread biscuits, um, pop them into a Ziploc bag, um, like what we did to the nuts. And again, with a very stress relieving process, bash them into crust. But don't make them into like a fine powder, or else you will lose the texture, the crumbly texture of an apple crumble. At this point, you should cue the crazy evil laugh. What? Oh, 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 oh. I hate you so bad! Don't die! 
You will also have to melt the butter, so just use the microwave oven and microwave them until they become liquid. Mess. Let's zoom in closer on the mess. I hate you. There's a mess over there. Let's cover the mess. Okay. So it's time for us to assemble everything together to make the crust. sure your fingers are clean and with no skills just mix them through oh this smells so nice now your crust is done yeah. our apples are almost there you can see they have softened now it's very easy to just pick through okay I dropped one Let's try another one. It's really soft now, which means they're ready to get married with our crumble crust. Now you just have to put this in the oven for around 10 to 15 minutes until the crust has turned golden and the beautiful aroma has invaded your house. You can see the crust has turned golden brown, it smells really nice. Um, there were some bubbles bubbling um, near the rim of the baking dish, but now the bubbles have gone, but they were there. Now our crumble is done, it smells so nice. We'll give it a taste. So serve your crumble with a bit of ice cream. I don't have ice cream, so I'll smash my ice lollipop-ish thing here. Let's give it a taste. Mm, it's so good, it's so buttery. The crust is buttery and crispy. And the apples are so soft with a hint of lemon. Cheers! Cheers! Woo! 
उसमें कौन 